We've been telling you about the ongoing water issues facing our state and the impact that it can have on our future. Yeah, the crisis not only affecting our water supply, but also our energy, in turn then, your electricity bills. So Stephen joining us with more on what it all means for Arizonans moving forward. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'm at a Central Arizona Project Canal, and before the water gets here, it flows through the Colorado River and Lake Powell, where it generates hydroelectric energy, and so less water means less power coming from the plant at uh, that lake. So I spoke with energy experts with the Electric District Association of Arizona, and they say Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the two lakes impacted by you know, the current drought situation and the upcoming water cuts generate power for the western grid of the United States. And for Arizona, we receive about 5% of our power from these two lakes. Now, energy experts with the electrical district say right now, the plants at these lakes are only generating about 70% of the power of what they used to because of the drought situation. And while it's too early to tell, they're expecting the water cuts, we could see just 50% power generated. And if energy demand stays the same, but the supply of energy goes down, it could lead to higher energy bills. And that's what we're seeing for our customers. Um, some of the replacement power to uh, replace the energy lots from the drought costs as much or more um, to replace uh, than, those, than the energy is lost out those federal hydropower dams. So these energy experts say that the power from these lakes is important because of how flexible it is. So it's important to find replacement power, but they're already running into roadblocks. I'll talk about that more during our next hour.